Hi, welcome. I'm Brad Philpot, author of English A, Language and Literature for the IB Diploma, and I'm here to talk to you today about writing skills, and specifically writing skills for Paper 1, Paper 2, and the Higher Level Essay uh, for your students, and how these skills can be developed, and what good examples uh, of, uh, of writing look like. Uh, I think we're all familiar with a, a range of acronyms like PI or P or PEEL. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about um, some, some basic structures that I tend to see in good paper ones, paper twos, HL essays. Uh, thesis statements are important and it's really good to practice writing thesis statements in a class even if you don't write the entire essay or commentary to go with it. Um, the idea behind a thesis statement, I think for language and literature, is that students need to connect author's purpose to author's choice of style. So good thesis statements for any written form, even for the individual oral, it tends to combine, um, it, it tends to sound like through the use of imagery, symbols, narration, the author achieves her purpose of X, Y, and Z. Um, and oftentimes body paragraphs lead with uh, well, topic sentences that comment on um, that purpose and one stylistic feature. So they're technique driven. Uh, technique and ideas driven paragraphs work really well. So uh, the peel structure, I like it. Point, evidence, evaluate, link back to the thesis idea. Works really well. Um, it's not a four sentence paragraph. You can alternate between evidence and evaluation. Essentially that's criterion A and B for each component of assessment. So in doing that, uh, students will meet the criteria. Uh, it will have a sense of organization. We can teach them linguistic structures, uh, like through the use of X, Y, Z, authors achieve purposes of A, B, C. Um, these are not the, the most difficult structures to tackle. Um, we can see a range of them in good examples. So um, let's work with a lot of great examples with our students and see how essentially all forms of assessment really require good organization, a strong thesis statement, um, excellent points built around technique and meaning, um, and lots of evidence, lots of analysis, lots of evaluation, and constantly linking back to those uh, thesis statements. That's really important. Everything really essentially is persuasive. Even paper one guided analysis is a, a, is a persuasive piece in the sense that you are persuading the examiner that your interpretations of a text are most insightful. So if we keep that in the back of our minds, the, the peel structure for each paragraph, strong thesis statements, good introductions, good conclusions, practice makes perfect. It really is a, um, a skill and you don't have to be per perfect to earn top marks. So um, let's keep practicing and uh, let's keep working with those structures. Best of luck.